Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, everybody. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, my illustrious partner, Art Kirsch, and I are with the fabulous, wide-eyed Manny Pacheco, <laughs> Hollywood historian and great, uh, great knowledgeable person about films of every era. How are you, Manny? Good. You forgot to mention I was bushy-tailed as well, but that's okay. <laughs> well, we they, we like to save some of those things just for us. Yeah, uh, yeah this is a family show. Right. We don't talk about bushy tails. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like the Adams family. Anyway, uh, so Manny, every year uh, there's a, a great festival run by TCM. And the really magical thing is that this year, the three of us are going to be there uh, John and I taping while you're interviewing many of the celebrities. So tell us all the kind of special stuff that uh, is coming up this year that uh, you hope to, uh, people you hope to speak to. Well, for context, you know, this is a festival that's been going on now for over a decade. Uh, the last two years, they've had to do it, uh, unfortunately, uh, virtually because of the pandemic. But they're back. They're back in Hollywood, and they're going to be at a number of locations for screenings and uh, famous uh, mingling with famous people. Uh, fans from all over the the nation, and maybe maybe even globally, uh, are going to be there. And uh, it's just a great way to celebrate a classic film. And I'm really thrilled that uh, you and uh, John are going to be joining me uh, as um, this is my fourth uh, visit. And of course, we get our press passes and they, uh, they allow us backstage and they allow us to many of the screenings. And they're going to have some very special people at, at the event this year. Well, tell us who the big stars are that they've invited. They, they, they always have a wonderful roster. Yes. Of, of well-known, um, very popular stars, some of whom are retired, some of whom are still active. Now, right. I, was, I think I heard Bruce Dern is going to be uh, a, a guest. Yes, and of course, the Dern family is Hollywood royalty as far right. as I'm yeah. concerned. And, you know, his, his career transcend, transcends into the, uh, the golden age of film. Uh, mm -hmm. Having his his start in the in the '60s, the latter the latter end of the the golden age. But I mean, he he did a just a number of great films over the course of his career. One of my favorites, uh, "Support Your Local Gunfighter," yes. which played opposite uh, uh, James Garner. But he's done so many films, and and in honor of Bruce Stern, they're going to be showing Nebraska, one of his really more recent, but nonetheless a classic piece of celluloid. And so he will be there. And uh, boy, wouldn't it be great if we could interview him? So we'll be looking for him. Yep. And uh, Piper Laurie, one of the most, I think, underrated uh, uh, screen actresses of Hollywood's golden age. I mean, she is every bit as good as Patricia Neal as far as her approach to realistic acting. Uh, she was nominated for an Oscar uh, for The Hustler. Yeah. She was terrific as, and, and again, a nomination as the mother of uh, Sissy Spacek in Carrie. Yeah. But yeah. she's done so much more. And Piper Laurie is just one of those actors that never get mentioned, but should. Just, just a fine actress. She's still uh, around, which we're happy to hear. And they're going to be showing The Hustler as part of the screenings. And another name that uh, is going to be there, the first night, actually, on Thursday, the great Steven Spielberg. Oh, wow. Really? That's terrific. Kick He's kicking off the whole event. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy is going to be there as well. And they're going to be showing, as their first film, The Magnificent E.T. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's kind of interesting, it's kind of interesting for us uh for us oldies who've been watching TCM and enjoying all the films there, hearing the name Spielberg and TCM is sort of like a strange uh, combination because yeah. he's still so active. Uh, I mean, up to the present, he's, he's just, he's he's making news. He's West Side Story just came out, the remake, which is uh, getting rave reviews. So putting Spielberg and TCM together is kind of interesting. Look how long his career has spanned. Well, yes, but, you know, think about this. I mean, West Side Story was a definite homage to Hollywood's musicals of, mm -hmm. of, of that golden era. So, I mean, he does have such a reverence. And, and many of his films, I mean, came out, what, 
35, almost 40 years ago sure. now? Sure, yeah. Sure. So it's I hard just, to believe. It's, it's hard not, to believe that ET yeah. fits it, into any category right. that TCM would cover. Well, let's just say that maybe ET is a certain generation's Wizard of Oz. There are certain mm -hmm. people of a certain age who absolutely have a reverence for E.T. as the definitive children's movie of, a, of an era, yeah. just like The Wizard of Oz was. So why not? I say why not? Uh, yeah. and, but I mean, if you think that Jaws came out in 74, 75, I mean, we're talking a long time ago, and, and, and that's how long Spielberg's been around. So yeah. it's a great merging. And, and quite frankly, TCM has been approaching more of, of recent films lately on their on their uh, channel yeah uh, of course the uh, the purists don't like it but i think it's great because i think a classic movie is a classic movie in any year now i know that's not going to get a very popular response from those who watch this but i have to express my personal opinion and i have to tell the truth i'm not going to cater or pander that i just that's the way i feel and uh, some of the other movies that i think that you're going to love watching uh, they're going to be showing a soylent green and Lee Taylor Young, one of the co-stars of that film, will be in attendance to introduce the film. And Soylent Green is one of the great science fiction 1970s films. Um, in fact, it was the last film done by Edward G. Robinson. They're doing a 40th anniversary screening of Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And what is a festival without an Elvis movie? And they're showing <laughs> Blue Hawaii. <laughs> And for those folks who love silent films, because they don't ignore any genre of film if it's classic, they're going to do a special presentation of the silent film Seventh Heaven from 1927, one of the very first honored films in the history of Oscars in that first year when Wings won the Best Picture. Seventh Heaven was up for Best Picture. Uh, Janet Gaynor won an Oscar. It's just going to be an incredible presentation for fans of silent movies. Well, you know, Manny, it's not just uh, classic movies. If you're a film lover, you've he at least heard of these films. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're old enough to have lived through most of them <laughs> and enjoyed them in our youth. But it they're really very good at, um, at covering all of filmdom. And I, I have to give them credit. You know, it started out when Ted Turner bought somebody's library, MGM or somebody's library. And so he had, well, he had, might have had a thousand films. They were all within a certain period of time. And TCM has done a wonderful job of acquiring, as you say, many silent films and modern films. I call them modern films because I saw them in my youth. But they've done a, just a wonderful job. And it's a great place for film lovers, not just classic film lovers. And, sure. and uncut yeah. Uncut and commercial free as well. So, yeah. And uh, it's really kind of interesting. Uh, uh, we were talking about Spielberg. Uh, by the way, uh, another thing that probably qualifies him is he still shoots using film. Uh, he, hasn't, <laughs> he hasn't really gone to the digital divide yet. But uh, yeah. I guess the truth of the matter is that uh, jo uh, John uh, uh, sort of uh, shook my, the cobwebs out there. When Turner bought them, uh, it was 50 years ago. So, uh, he looked at uh, what we consider films in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, uh, or, 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 or maybe some to the 50s, that were classics then. Okay, yes. but if he had bought them today, yes, in fact, E.T. would would have been a classic. It probably yeah. would have fit into that mold. So I guess it is yeah. uh, living up to its reputation as being the the uh, the channel and the organization for classic movies. And they did one other thing that was really smart. They anchored the uh, the, the setup, the, the platform, with one man, and he basically carried it into this era, and that was the late Robert Osborne. Yeah. So th they even give away a Robert Osborne Legacy Award now every single year. This year's recipient will be Leonard Malton. So, oh, no kidding. Yeah, and our good friend Leonard Malton, we just interviewed a, yes. just a couple of yeah. months back. One more thing I want to mention, I think this is kind of important. If you end up going to the event, the central gathering point will be the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, the wow. actual location of the very first Oscar ceremony. Yeah. You know, hosted by Douglas, Douglas Fairbanks. The screenings will be held at the TCL Chinese Theater IMAX, the TCL Chinese Six Theaters, the Hollywood Legion Theater at Post 43, which, by the way, is a magnificent place to watch a movie. And, yeah. of course, the 
El Capitan Theater. So there are plenty of places to enjoy great films. I suspect that when we're there, we will be hanging out at the Hollywood Roosevelt to see who walks in, somebody famous. Maybe one of the hosts. I love to. I would love to meet uh, some of the hosts. Ben Mankiewicz. I would too. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't that wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. <laughs> Eddie Eddie Muller. I'm looking to meet Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm getting ready to dust off my my uh, working sneakers, and uh, uh, join you guys uh, in a couple of weeks as we go to the TCM Festival. Thank you for this great preview, Manny. I'm yeah. looking forward to it, and thank you uh, for letting me offer an opportunity to tease the event. <laughs> well, not just tease the event, but tease celebrating Act Two when we start playing all the interviews that you're going to do in front of our cameras mm. at the TCM Festival. Absolutely. I, I can't wait. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys. Oh, it'll be a lot of fun. See you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.